What's up everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J and today I'm doing a haul video and I have some of everything to share in this haul. I have fashion, I have homeware, including Bath & Body Works candles, which I went a little overboard on. <laughs> and I even have a little bit of PR to throw into the mix. So this video is gonna be pretty long because I have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna try to do it in categories. So let's just start off with homeware because that's what I have sitting next to me. The first thing is sitting in front of me. I bought this little organizer from Home Goods, and I like these to put brushes in. You can also put makeup in here, but I think I'm addicted to buying them. And I don't have one that's like this one that has this configuration. So I bought this one. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. I honestly was like, Kelsey, you don't need to buy it. But then I just kept looking at it and I thought it was cute. So I went ahead and bought it. I don't know the brand who makes this, but I get these from Home Goods and I really love them. I've gotten some better ones and I've gotten some that aren't so great. So I always like to look out for the quality. This one seems really sturdy. I don't think these are all made by the same brands whenever I get them, but I really like these for makeup storage. This was $16.99. And here is the tag in case that'll help anyone find it. I don't know what you all can do with the tags. I just know that some people have certain websites that you can type stuff in and find stuff. So if that helps you, it helps you, you can screenshot it. So then I bought another one and this one is rhinestone. Now this one, the rhinestones aren't on as securely as I like. And it's a little bit sticky like if you press into it. However, I just can't resist the design. And I already have one of these in my background. So I wanted to get another one to match. Because once I get my chest of drawers in my beauty room, I'm going to put one on each of them on either side. So I wanted to have two to have somewhere to continue to store brushes because I continuously buy brushes or get brushes in PR. So I like to have places to store them. And this is my favorite way that I have found to store my brushes. There you go, screenshot it if you like. I got this shower caddy because I've been needing one. Plus in my main bathroom, I have matte black decor. So I saw this one, I thought it was a good price. It was $14.99 and it has the three levels. So I can organize my stuff in the shower and not have it fall over and hit me. Like my body wash did yesterday, it literally fell off of the ledge and hit my arm. And it doesn't seem like that would hurt as bad as it does, but I promise you my arm is bruised today. It hurts really bad. I'm going to go put some green alcohol on it. Hopefully it doesn't hurt as bad, but it hurts. But I definitely needed to get this to have somewhere to securely store stuff. Here you go. This one actually has a brand and there's the tag. I bought these adorable pillows. I think they are so glam, so girly, so beautiful. I love, 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 love the rhinestones here and they are securely placed on here because I cannot just pull it up. This feels so nice and so weighty. I love it. The pillow isn't as fluffy as I would like for it to be, but it is a decorative pillow so it can be a little bit flatter because the main attribute is the design. I just think it is so adorable. I love this pillow so much. So I had to have it. I got two of them. I'm going to put this in an accent area in my place. And I just think it's going to make that area pop. So I had to have these. The back of it is gray. So it's a neutral color. But I just think this is absolutely stunning. This is the brand Sparkle Tone. $29.99 per pillow. I found the prettiest picture frame. Okay, wait till I show you. Is this not just gorgeous? It is clear. It's very weighty. I love this. This is by Mikasa Home. You can hang it this way or you can hang it this way, whichever way. But this is really big. This is 11 inches by 14 inches. And like I said, it has a nice amount of weight to it. So when I saw this, I knew I absolutely had to have it. I actually have been looking for another one so I can have two. I can't find another one. This one was $24.99. And I just think it's gorgeous. I love, love, love this. It's going to really pop as an accent wherever I put it. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I absolutely loved it and I had to have it. I bought these. <laughs> I feel like everything is kind of on theme. These are glam cocktail skewers and it says they're for Bloody Marys. I don't really drink Bloody Marys. I've never had one, so it's not a really. I don't drink Bloody Marys and um, I really don't drink in general like that, but... <laughs> In the event that I wanted to make a cute cocktail, I just saw these and I thought they were absolutely cute. 
So if you want us to make a pretty drink and have some strawberries or some pineapples or whatever and have it sticking out of the cup, I think that would be really pretty and decorative. So I love stuff like that. If I am hosting in my house, which I never am, but you know, if I ever did have company and I wanted to make a pretty drink, you know, it's always good to have stuff like this on hand because if you're ever looking for something like this, I guarantee you, you won't find it. So sometimes you just have to buy stuff in preparation of things that may or may not happen, you know? And the price on these was not bad at all it's $7.99 so now I bought this as an accent for something I don't know what I want that accent to be yet but I have it so I don't know I don't even know if I want to keep this because I don't really have anywhere to put it I forgot what you call these things even a little tray like an accent tray and it has that tarnished silver look which is cute but it doesn't really go with the vibrant silver that I have decorating my entire place so i don't know this might not stay it's mirror the brand is jt rose it's heavy it's weighty i don't know if i'm gonna keep this because i really don't have anywhere to put it now that i'm looking at it and it might not go with anything so i don't know there's the style in the brand it was 39.99 it was one of those things that i liked but didn't love but if you all shop home goods tj maxx marshall's and stores like that then the game is is that if you see something that you like, you have to buy it. You can always return it. But if you go back and try to get it again, the chances of you getting that same piece again are so slim. So it's like you better go ahead and get what you want. Think about it at home. Rather than not getting it, trying to go back and find it. And then, honey, it's gone forever. So I bought it. I might take it back. And lastly, I got this little reindeer stocking holder. And I'm going to put this in my background. I'm about to decorate my background for the holidays. I'm only going to have it up for maybe half the videos for Vlogmas. But that's okay. That is okay. It's the thought that counts, and I'm gonna have it for next year. I think it's really cute and festive. It was $9.99. I do believe that was everything that I got from Home Goods. I love Home Goods. I stop in at least once a week, maybe once every other week. Sometimes it depends on what season it is, because sometimes they have more inventory. So when they do, I like to stop in a little bit more frequently. But, uh, that was all I got this go round. I feel like I had a pretty successful home goods trip, but I did get a few more home good essentials. It's always so fun to say home goods when you're not talking about the store. It's like, I'm talking about home goods, but I'm not talking about home goods. You feel me? I went to Ikea and I got more wooden hangers. I like these hangers because they're nice and sturdy. And I made the decision to switch over to wooden hangers because I like the aesthetic. I like the way that it makes my closet look very organized. I can see my clothing and these hangers are nice and weighty. So I think that they can help my clothes keep their shape a little bit better. So I got a few more packs of these. I already have switched over all of my hangers in my closet to these hangers, but I wanted to get some more and I don't live near an Ikea. So whenever I'm by Ikea, I like to stock up or I'll send my mom stock up and get some hangers so I can have these. And they're not that expensive. For a pack of eight, I want to say it's like $5. Let's talk about Bath and Body Works. For the most part, I think it's two days. I don't know if it's just been one day in the past, but I just call it candle day, all right? I always like to get candles, even though I still have candles from last year. I still like to have more because they have different scents every year. And so my little candle collection is really cute. So I got more candles. <laughs> I made two trips. So the first day I went really early and I bought, I don't know, 10, 12 candles and a candle holder. So I was like, I'm good. But then I accidentally was by another Bath & Body Works. The next day I went in and I got more candles. Plus I met this really sweet lady and she had a coupon and she let me have it. So I was like, oh my God, it was fake. I was supposed to come in here and get more candles, duh. So I'm gonna start with this bag because it only has one candle in here. This one is the Scent Tree Farm. I like this one. It smells like a tree farm, but not too much like outside. It has that tree scent, but also it smells kind of fresh. So I like that one. I'm gonna try to go quickly because I did get a bunch of candles. I also had to have this because this is just so cute. Again, this is gonna go in my background as Christmas decor. As soon as I get up from here, I'm decorating. Okay. Uh, this is heavy. Okay, for real, for real. I'm not even kidding. This is heavy. Hold on. This is from my first haul of candles that first day. So, okay, I have 12. Okay. Ooh, I got the perfect Christmas. This one smells like peppermint. It smells like trees. It smells like gifts, it smells like cookies, it smells like Santa Claus. This is literally the perfect Christmas scent. If you love Christmas, you need to have this candle 
burn it all year long because it just smells like Christmas straight up. I love that. So I got one of those. I probably got two of those. I grabbed mahogany coconut. I love this one because it smells fresh. It smells like mahogany, kind of masculine, but then it smells a little bit more feminine and nature-like with the coconut. That one is good. Island Margarita. This one smells like spring, summer. Very fresh. You can smell the lemon. It's kind of zesty. I like this one for days when I need a little pep. So Island Margarita is good. This one is balsam plus firewood. It smells like a fire. And it smells like the greenery that is around the fire during Christmas. I don't know how much I love this one. I think this was the only one left of this one. I don't know. It kind of smells a little bit too sooty. Marshmallow Fireside. The name is pretty indicative of what the scent smells like. It definitely smells like a marshmallow fireside. Perfect Christmas. I really like this one. I think it's perfect. It's the perfect balance of sweet for Christmas, but a little bit edgy. I love that. Winter. This one is one of my favorite candles that Bath & Body Works makes, period, because it is perfection. It smells like a crisp winter day. And it has a little bit of a fresh element to it. It's what I wish snow really smelled like, but I love winter. That's literally my favorite. I'm stacking these asking for it. I'm asking for it. I'm going to stop stacking. Okay, hold on. I just don't have any space on my desk, which is crazy. Um, Stack over here a little bit. Get it back. Okay. This one. Oh, this one is winter. But look at this jar. I think this one is gorgeous. Same scent, different jars. I got two of these. One for me, one for my mama. Love that jar. And can you believe this jar is so heavy, but it was $10.52? I can't believe that. Merry Cookie. This one was really, really popular because this one sold out super fast. I do like scents like this for the kitchen. I can't have it all around the house, but I do enjoy sometimes a cookie candle. I don't want to smell like that on my body, but a candle, I'm not mad at it. This one is Fresh Fall Morning. Again, self-explanatory. This one is more unisex. It has a little bit of crispness to it. Mm, it smells kind of green. I like that one a lot. It's not really holiday-ish, but I like it. This one is one from the Aromatherapy line. I love the Aromatherapy line, and I like this scent. This one is Eucalyptus Tea. I actually have the body wash and stuff for this. I'm a huge fan of Bath & Body Works' Aromatherapy line, so I got that one. And they didn't have a whole lot more of the aromatherapy. I wasn't real late. I got there at like 8 a.m. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me talking about it in my stories. They didn't have a lot of the aromatherapy candles left. So I got that one because I like that one. But don't sleep on their aromatherapy candles. They're good. Okay, so that was from the first haul. And then I went back yesterday just because, you know, it was there. It was the last day. I was like, okay. Ugh. Let me get this away from me. I got like five more maybe. Vanilla Balsam. I like this one. This one is a softer approach to that scent versus the firewood and balsam. I don't know. I don't know. I might not like that one. Gingerbread Marshmallow. Did not already get that. I got something else with marshmallows. Where is it? Oh, it's Marshmallow Fireside. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this one definitely smells like gingerbread. Marshmallow Fireside. Oh yeah, they smell distinctly different. I think I like, I think I like Marshmallow Fireside more just because it smells a little bit more sexy. Gingerbread Marshmallow smells straight up like a cookie. I like both though. So then I grabbed Falling Flurries, which I really like this one. This one smells like winter berries. It's good and it smells fresh and crisp. And then Eucalyptus Rain, which I don't think I like this candle. Plus, I think this candle has been burned already because this one is lower. It kind of already looks used. I don't know if this was a display candle or a what. Oh, and I kissed it. Ugh. I don't know if this was a display candle or what, but I probably am going to take this one back. I don't love this one. Plus, I think it looks a little funky. And then lastly, I have Watermelon Lemonade, which this one is not my candle. This one is my boyfriend's candle. I picked out one for him. I mean, I like it, but it kind of smells like chapstick. I don't know. It's something about the watermelon and the lemonade. It's okay. It's just okay. It's not my favorite, but, you know, we'll live with it. So, 
that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. Did you all get any candles from Candle Day? Are you into Candle Day? I've been into Candle Day for as long as Candle Day has been a thing. Some years I go in. I feel like I was pretty modest with my haul this year for me. So, <laughs> so that's that. Tell me your favorite scent from Bath and Body Works if you're into their candles down in the comment section. So now I want to share some things that were sent to me. First, I want to start off by acknowledging this amazingly kind gesture by one of my amazing Kale Bells, Sharon D. Johnson. And she sent me two cards. And I have actually packed away the cards down in my card box i like to keep all of my cards it's deep down in my closet y'all i have to pull everything out to put the cards in there but otherwise i would show them to you i still have this envelope that she sent the cards in but one of the cards was just a hey i hope you're doing great for the holidays card and another card was a sympathy card and i just felt so touched by the gesture i actually included these cards in my november favorites which it got deleted. I don't know how that happens sometimes, but if you're a content creator, you know that sometimes the challenge can be that content gets deleted or audio doesn't work or whatever because I already had filmed and given her a thank you shout out in that video. That's why I put the cards away. And then I go back to edit it. It's not there. So I wanted to make sure to thank her publicly on camera, even though I have thanked her privately. And I asked her for her permission if I would be able to share this because I just thought that that was so sweet and kind that she thought about me to send me those cards and she included a little gifts card because she knew I had been moving to Bath and Body Works and she said hey I hope this can help you in your process of moving I'm like absolutely because I'm continuously buying things because where I moved from I felt like I just had the same stuff for like a hundred years so I just been buying all new stuff so for her to think about me and to send me this gift card and to send me those cards I just wanted to say thank you so much Sharon because that really meant a lot to me anytime anybody goes out of their way to think about you and we've not even met in person and we just have this connection from the internet I just think that is magical so I wanted to say thank you thank you thank you a thousand times that was the sweetest thing ever I have some of the best kale bells so thank you Sharon so I had to give my girl a shout out and I have some PR here too so brands have been sending me things again I included some of their PR in my November favorites but then it's like I can't remember what all was in there so hopefully I remembered it all but I know for certain this was in there and at the time it was brand new and it had just gotten sent to me but now I've had a chance to try it and I don't know what Sonya has done but she just may have single-handedly replaced all of my powder brushes in my entire collection <laughs> This brush right here is a beast of a brush because you can use this to set your entire face. You can use this to set underneath your eye area if you want to. You can use it for bronzer, you can use it for highlighter, or you can use it for blush. It is so multi-dimensional. I love this brush so much. It is the perfect amount of fluff and I love the shape of it. It's almost like a paddle. This is literally the perfect powder brush Sonya does it every single time and I am so in love with this brush I have not put it down I honestly need to go wash it again because I've been using it every single day for all of these things on my face and I just love the way it blends out the product I know this brush sold out really fast a lot of you all are upset about that and I understand because when Sonya G's launches drop they sell out pretty much on the first day and I know a lot more people wanted to get their hands on them. However, we do have to keep in mind that these brushes are handmade by Japanese artisans and so to create these brushes and maintain the quality that we are used to with Sonya G, we do have to be patient because these are not made by machines. These are made by people and the quality of the materials is just unmatched. So I'd rather them continue to create tools in limited numbers and maintain that quality versus batch creating and then we sacrifice somewhere. Next time this launches, I will keep you all posted, but you all have to have this. If you love powder and you use powder, anything on your face, bronzer, all over face powder, like I said, this is a versatile brush, then you have to have this one in your collection. It is truly a game changer. Thank you so much, Beautylish. Thank you so much, Sonya G. Whenever it comes back into stock, I promise you I'm buying two more because I love it that much. I have to have multiples of that one in my collection. 
love that brush so next m cosmetics was kind enough to send over some goodies i've actually never tried anything from m cosmetics they've been on my list of brands that i've wanted to try for a while so i was really excited when they reached out to me so it came in this really cute lavender bag i have some of their volumizing lip glosses now when i read that they were volumizing i did get a little scared i'm like wait 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 wait, 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 wait. is it gonna burn i put it on they don't burn they feel really nice and cushiony on the lips this one that I'm putting on is Caramel Glaze. It feels so nice and really plush. So I've been enjoying these. I've actually used them more than once because I've had this. Caramel Glaze, Magic Hour, Secret Blush, Tender Rose. They sent all these glosses. Moroccan Sunset, Faded Clementine, Lotus Blossom, Ash Rose, and Moki Moki. So I'm really excited to try out all those. And then they sent over some of their color drops serum blushes so this one is peachy peach sunset sky venetian rose and then lastly i have the eyeshadow palette in venetian rose let me know if you all want to see a video dedicated to these products because i was really curious about them like i said they've been on my list of brands to try for a while so let me know if you all are curious if you've tried anything from them thank you so much m cosmetics for sending over such an amazingly generous package i am in love with everything that i've tried so far and i cannot wait to dive into everything so y'all let me know in the comment section next delore mercier sent over a pretty pretty pr package it's so festive right i've already opened this one because like i said i did already film with this in my last video but that footage is gone we're gonna forget about it but in this package there is the set for perfection translucent loose setting powder and puff duo i think this is so cute and also in the set is the Stroke of Midnight brush collection. And I think this is so cute. This is definitely getting gifted, I think, to my auntie. She doesn't watch my videos, mostly. So she won't know. But I really want to give this to her. I think these are such cool gifts. I love this. If I didn't already have all these brushes, I would definitely want to keep it for myself. But these are perfect for gifts. It's already packaged really prettily. So all you have to do is just drop it into a little bag or wrap it up, put a little bow on it. Or even put it in a stock and I think these are cute. Laura Mercier just does it. Thank you, Laura Mercier, for sending over these beautiful gifts. I love them. BK Beauty, BK Beauty. I love BK Beauty so much. Not only because Lisa J is one of my friends, but their brand is really nice. So look at this. This is one of their newest launches. This is not just gorgeous. I love the faux crocodile and i love their colors this reminds me of my mom's high school colors so i grew up around colors like this the maroon and gold honey now look at that it is a travel brush kit yes i love the storage mechanism so you can put makeup over here if you want to you can slide in you know a little palette maybe a little powder and then look at these brushes so they are shorter brushes but the actual bristles are the same so i love that that's perfect for travel because you can have your brush that you love in a smaller size but the actual head of the brush is the same size so you don't have to compromise anything i love that ingenious these are all phenomenal brushes and i love that there's a mix of face and eye brushes here so you don't have to overthink it and this is just perfect to throw in your suitcase while still protecting your brushes. Thank you so much, BK Beauty, for sending this over. I'm definitely going to be putting this to good use. More goodies. Okay, so I know what this is. This is my first time opening up this box, but I already know what it is. Ooh, I have some stuff from Kaja. This is their Wink Stamp. Wink Eyeliner Stampin' Pen. So I'm excited to have this. I've been wanting to try this. I actually think I have this. But I think I got it right when I was moving. So I packed it. I don't know where it is. Y'all, my beauty room is still a mess. Without furniture, you cannot organize your stuff. I'm, a, I'm about to scream if I don't get my furniture. Aww. It's a little black cat headband. It's cute. I'm not really into cats. I would have 100% given this to Mel. And she would have loved it. Because she loved cats. So... <laughs> A little black cat headband that's cute it reminds me of her Ooh, a color key ring with water gel tint interesting kaja wink lash trio so there's three things in here oh okay it's a lash primer and a brow serum gel and a mascara so i'm excited to try that we have some skincare in here from i do care this is the cake my day hydrating sprinkle wash off mask that sounds cute the berry groovy brightening glycolic wash off mask and the Matcha Mood Soothing Green Tea Wash Off Mask. I cannot wait to try out all this stuff. 
Thank you so much for sending over these goodies. I've tried things from I Do Care and I like them. I've tried things from Kaja and I like them, but they are conglomerates. So they own several different brands under their umbrella brand. So I'm excited to learn more about this company because I've been a huge fan of Kaja. Let me tell you really quickly, they didn't send me any of Kaja's lip glosses, but that's one of my favorite lip gloss formulas. So if you've never tried anything from Kaja, try their lip glosses, they are bomb. I have an Ipsy bag here. And let's see, it's pretty heavy, it's stuff, just stuff in here. There is a Nomad palette. This one says it is a carry-on eyeshadow palette. Look at that palette. I like the color story. Very interesting. It has the pops, but it also has muted shades. And I don't have a color like this in my collection, period. It's almost like a mustard gold tone. So this is Refreshments Superb Strength Shampoo Tarte Lavender. Surprisingly, I like the way that smells. I wasn't sure. I'm like, Tarte Lavender. I like it though. Matching conditioner. Ooh, pillowy shave cream. I needed this. This one's in the scent Citrus Spritz. A little sample from Glossier. This one is their Milky Jelly Cleanser. It is a conditioning face wash. Il Maquillage, a lipstick. This one is in the shade Dirty Talk. I love Il Maquillage's packaging. I think it's really sleek and fun. Oh, okay, I like this shade. And I like their formulation a lot. Ooh, okay. These are scrunchies from Kish. I love this little brand. These are all neutral scrunchies. Oh, I love this. I actually use scrunchies a lot. When I just want to pull my hair back at the end of the day, I go in with the scrunchie. Serafine Botanicals Camelina Plus Strobe Luminizing Primer. Interesting. Able Skincare Ultra Plus Collagen Eye Rescue Therapy. This one is by Kinship. It is a mince mud deep pore detox mask. It says, let me clarify. Okay, that's cute. Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. I never can have too many mascaras. I've never tried this one. And then I have a mask by Briogeo. This one is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Thank you so much, Ipsy, for sending over this bag. This is a good box, okay? Because this is going to be used today, and this is definitely going to be used today. And everything else is really cool. So thank you so much for sending that over. One more PR box, and then I'll get into some fashion. It's from House of Siage. So of course, of course it comes with a little note because they are so classic. Oh, it's a candle. Y'all know I am all the way down for candles right now. This one is their Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Edition Scented Candle. Look at the design. I love this iteration of Wonder Woman. I love it. It's so beautiful. I think this is gorgeous and I'm so glad that they have included a candle. Thank you so much for sending this over. Y'all, I'm just gonna be real with you. I don't even wanna open it. I think it's too pretty. I don't wanna open it. I wanna keep it in pristine condition. <laughs> I'm gonna save it, but thank you so much, House of Siash, for sending this over. We're about to talk about some fashion, fashion, fashion. Okay, this is a super basic black crew neck that I got from ASOS. I actually got it with the intention of wearing it oversized, so I got a US size 20. I could have gotten a size 18 and it still would have been oversized. ASOS's clothes normally run so big, but you can't always say that that is the rule because it's like sometimes they run true to size. But this wasn't that pricey because I wanna say I got like, I don't know, 40% off of it. So I'm insane. So I'm not even gonna send it back. It's not worth it. But I got this basically for lounge days. I forgot I got this from ASOS too. This is heavy. Okay, I wonder did I get the right size. So this is a shacket. A shacket is a combination of a shirt jacket. Okay, so this one is by the brand's new look. And this is so heavy. The quality feels amazing. So I know this is gonna keep me warm. I have intentions on wearing this as a jacket, but you could button it up and wear it as a shirt, which is why it's called a jacket. Kind of like a nod to West Coast, Ice Cube, gay, gay. So <laughs> this is a really cute sweater that I got from TJ Maxx. This one is by Rachel Zoe. I love the neckline of this sweater. And I love the contrast of the greens. I think this is really cute. And the quality of this fabric feels impeccable. So I'm so excited that I found this. And I want more stuff from Rachel Zoe. And then I got this really cute sweater from TJ Maxx again. This one is by the brand Tahari. This is actually one of my favorite brands that TJ Maxx carries. They carry clothing and they carry home goods. So I really love this brand. I love the contrast of the camel 
with the black the cut of it tahara's products are such great quality and again this neckline is right up my alley i bought some jeans from american eagle these are the high rise artist flare these have a nice amount of stretch to them i like the wash of the denim oh the flare at the bottom is cute i'm really on a flare jean kick and i think these are really cute i love american eagles jeans even though these are not like the traditional jeans like they still have a good amount of stretch to them oh and then i got super high rise flares okay so i think the flares flare out even more i actually want some darker jeans like i keep buying lighter jeans but i kind of want some darker jeans which the ones that I got from Good American are a little bit darker, but I don't have those yet. They said that they had such a great response to their sale that everything is delayed. So I'm like, okay, I'll probably get those later on. I might make a post with them on Instagram. So make sure you are following me there. And then I did some light shopping at Tori. I love their pixie pants. These are the best leggings. I've ever tried if you are plus size if you're curvy and you've been looking for leggings that just do not roll down as you're wearing them because that is so annoying then try their pixie pants it's called pants but it's really leggings so I got these in this snake skin print and I love these just as much if not more than Spanx and I love Spanx okay but these to me are a little bit more comfortable Spanx like pull it all in you cannot breathe at all and with these, there's a little bit more breathability. Plus the band is thicker, so it's gonna suck you in a little bit more. So I love these. It says that these have a slim fix technology and I agree, I love these so much. I have several of their pixie pants. I love this print, I have plain black, I have patterns, all of them are amazing. And then I got these really cute pants. I love these pants. It's a mix of gold and silver. And I love how festive they are. They fit really cute. I don't know the name of these. These don't have a name like the other ones. So I'll just hold up the barcode. You can maybe even look it up. But basically these are glitter striped pants. And they have wide legs. And here's the information. And lastly I got this houndstooth sweater. Which I love. It's so cute. Now I got this in a two. I wish they had a one. Just because it is a little bit bigger but you know what it's cozy I love the material it feels really nice and weighty so I'm really digging this sweater I'm glad to have it I love houndstooth I love sweaters sweater weather sweater weather love it and lastly I placed an order on farfetch to get a hat that I've been wanting for such a long time farfetch mm -hmm. this is how it comes packaged uh, I'm so excited look at this here's my hat Yay! This is a hat by Ruslan Baginski, I believe it's pronounced, and I have wanted one of these hats for the longest. Here are the initials, RB, and this one is the safety pin hat. Y'all, I love a page boy hat. It works so well on my head shape. This one I got in the size large. I want to try it on right now, but my hair is dirty. I actually just took down my braids and I just kind of went with it. So I want to wash my hair first before I try on my hat. But I love it. I love it. I think it's going to fit. This is so freaking cute. And if you all don't know, I have a serious obsession with safety pins. That is one of my favorite design elements in clothing. And I almost can never say no to safety pins. So I saw that they had a safety pin hat. So I jumped on it. I got the size large. This one was the last size large in this particular style. But he has a lot of different style hats. So this one looks so cute. It's going to look so cute with the shirt that I already have in my closet. I already have a look at my head with this. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm on a hat kick. I told y'all I wanted a hat. So I got a hat. I want even more hats. So <laughs> I'm going to be on the lookout for more cute hats because I'm really just in a hat mode right now. As soon as I wash my hair and get it flat, it's hat time. That is everything that I grabbed in this haul. I feel like I got so many <laughs> I actually have more things coming, but you know, with Black Friday and Cyber Monday, a lot of that stuff is delayed. So I didn't want to put off this video any longer because as you all see, this video was already long. <laughs> <laughs> but I am waiting on a few more things. I ordered some planners from Erin Condren. I ordered the jeans from Good American. I ordered some Danessa Myricks gel eye products. I forgot what they're called. I'm excited to get those. Those aren't here yet. I don't know. That might be it. I don't know. I can't remember. But anyways, let me know what you all ordered down in the comment section. Were you all very modest or did you all go in? I want to know <laughs> either way and if you got some good deals let us know what you got and if you still see good deals share what you're picking up because the deals are still rolling in it is still holiday season and it is prime shopping time 
So let us know what you have your eye on or what's on its way to you. If you liked this video, make sure you click like, give it a thumbs up. That really does help with the algorithm. And if you want to see more from me, make sure you subscribe, okay? It's free to do. And then you hit that bell and become a Kel Bell. And you become notified whenever I upload videos, which during the month of December is every day. Because it's Kel Slave Vlogmas, do you hear me? I will check you all in my very next video, which will be super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.